Well, I know it's really you. Yeah, it's me. You're just um, in the middle of all this. What What are you doing? Um, what am I doing? Um, I'm listening what? to you. And um, no, no, no. I was not getting my rocks off. I was okay. not turned on. Uh, the, this you know. fucking guy claimed, like, he even went to, like, newspapers and shit. And people, he was... He, he talked to Fox News. He talked to, he claimed that he was in the same cell block as uh, cell block 11 or something. I don't know. Unit with Chris Watts. So he went on Armchair Detective and all these channels. So he was on my channel for like, uh, like, like, like two times. And he was polite and everything. But the thing is, is like everybody had already asked him by the time he got to my channel, he had already been on like five different channels. I kind of was like, he, he said, the only way that'll come on your channel is you, you can't have your chat bashing me and being mean to me and harass me. And I'm like, dude, no one's going to do that. <laughs> and what happened? Did they? Um, no, not at first. So what I, what I, I didn't, I said in the beginning, I'm like, dude, listen, we're only here to talk about Chris Watts. I'm going to, you know, ha- let you have your privacy. I'm not going to ask you what you're in for. Like, well, I'm from the hood. We don't ask what people were in jail for. And he said, he legit said that he was there for possession. And then later on, he said it was a meth possession. So then the next day he came on again. But where I fucked up was I made him a little too comfortable. And the reason I asked him like the questions about like the spun the rope and, you know, what was going on with Chris Watts? Did you ever get to see him naked? Did he ever drop the soap? You know, did you ever get like a bird's eye view of his asshole and shit like that? Like I was trying to be funny and he was funny. And well, I was the one that was being funny and everyone was, you know, laughing in the chat at the time. At the time it was funny. And then the dude starts telling me and Laura, Laura, that (laughs) it was bad. He said that he started to stick paper clips and um, something else inside the tip of his penis to help him stop with the thoughts. Now, he said this the last time he was on my panel and we were all freaked out. But then the next day, he was like, yeah, I got this other charge. And this is when Mandy Lynn put out the video. We woke up to a video that Mandy Lynn put out saying, oh, my God, they're, like, talking to this pedophile person. And we were like, pedophile? We thought he was in there for meth. And, we, it, like, people were asking him questions. I weren't. I wasn't. And I wasn't coddling him. I wasn't, like, I don't, I don't think I was coddling him. But I was trying not to be, like... I was, I think I was trying to be a little too nice because I thought that he was kind of slow. Um, but he fucking was sticking staples and things into his penis hole. And he had seven surgeries on his balls and testicles. And like penis doesn't work. And Laura was f- like on the floor. And that's when on the second day, he said that he got another charge. And this is after Mandy Lynn's video. Oh, she was, she and was laughing. On the second, no. She was like, hold a second. Hold the fuck up. What did you say? You stick paper clips in your fucking dick? Am I getting that right? Hold on a second. And I wasn't on camera. So you, you couldn't, I, I don't think you could see my reaction. And I was just like, whoa. But on the second day, He got a little crazy because after Mandy Lynn's video, after she gave us a warning, we didn't even invite him up. He just popped up and I'm like, uh, uh, uh. And somebody asked him about what is this Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean he popped up on whose panel? You know how sometimes you leave the StreamYards link in the side chat and people can just like come up? Whose panel? Mine. Okay. Well, you know, well, he didn't, didn't like, you know, he didn't pop up on the panel. Come on. No, no, no. Like, no, he took the link. And, and you let up. him on the panel. Yeah. And exactly. that's when he told us he wanted to. What do you mean? Exactly. Shut the fuck exactly. up. Exactly. Why, why you let him on for if you know what the fuck he yeah, is? So I'm going to explain to you why. 
I fucking let him on. I'm explain to you why I'm glad I fucking had him on. Okay, go ahead. Right? And why I don't fucking regret having him on. Because these motherfuckers on here need to fucking learn what's really fucking going on in this fucking world and this fucking internet fucking bullshit. Anybody can say that they're anything, but we don't know the true fucking monsters that are out there. This guy is fucking sick. He's heavily fucking medicated and he's on the fucking street and he was supposed to be in fucking court yesterday for strangling his fucking sister, but they put it off for another two fucking months. When have we ever got to fucking sit there and ask questions of a fucking pedo? He fucking actually stood there and said, Oh, yeah. Very nonchalant. Says, oh, you know, there was a girl, she was 13 and I was 20 and she lied to me about her age and it's all in the court papers. And he sent them to me. I sent them to Laura. Laura read it out. He goes, all I did was finger her and that was it. We were like, fuck it. Oh, my God. So when he did that, we were just like, after, after the staple thing, after the finger thing, shoot the shit came up and was like, get yeah, here. He got him off. And the thing is, is my whole thing with that was like, okay, I didn't think that people would say, oh, Marissa supports pedophiles. Laura and Tiffany support pedophiles. Fuck no, we don't support pedophilia. And I don't, I mean, I think everybody was so freaked out that that was actually happening, but never. Guess what? I think that there's pedophiles and fucking druggies and fucking psychos all over our chats, all over yours, all over mine, all over Laura's, all over Diane's. I think there's many people that are fucking dangerous and never, ever, ever. If I had Chris Watts on my fucking panel, guess what? 5,000 people would be in the fucking side chat, wouldn't they? But then next day you get to say Molly Golightly supports uh, baby killers. Of course not. But the lint for letting everyone what do you know that prefer? You have those that wasn't fucking me. That no, all right, all right. I don't know how you could call yourself a true crime channel when the <laughs> video's still fucking up, retard. Listen, listen, the thing's still up. You're saying that I attacked Mandy Lynn for letting everyone know that he had those charges. The accusation of them defending him came from when they went on Laura's panel defending him. That is not what happens. Mm -hmm. Tiffany brought up the website that Mandy put up there and said, at the end, there's a disclaimer that you have to check the box and agree that you're not going to use this as any sort of revenge or blah, 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 blah. She was like, Mandy, you can't put this stuff out to uh, as form, use this stuff as a form of harassment and blah, 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 blah. So, so first of all, that wasn't me. It was technically, you got two people completely mixed up or you just, you just want to blame it on me. You can fucking do that. Breaking the silence. Don't you have someone's uh, someone in the family that needs uh, some company? Yeah, yeah. I see. Breaking the silence is awake. Anyway, so anyway, that's you, what yes. Really you woke her that, up. That that's what <laughs> really really happened. So let me ask you a question. Um, full on drama. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a public conversation? or a private conversation with someone who was some was attracted to children. Yeah. Mm, probably. Okay. I was sitting there thinking about it because they can say whatever they want. They can think whatever they get to turn through. I don't give a fuck. But for me, I have to do what's right in my mind and not for one second would I ever take back having that crazy guy on my freaking panel. I think that that guy was getting so comfortable with everyone in the community with him building a channel and wanting to start a channel. Oh my God. Think about it. If we didn't know, if these people didn't find out all this stuff, and we would have been like, oh, my God, he's so polite. He's so nice. And that was, you know, the whole premise of it is he was very nice and he was well-mannered. Well, guess what? These people are everywhere. 
They're everywhere and we don't get to see them. And we never, listen, we can talk to people that are on our panel and they come up and they just want to scream and call this one a hoe and call this one got to gotta get better teeth. Blah, blah. It's the same shit, different fucking day. I'll tell you one thing. I wasn't expecting this dude to come out of nowhere, jump on my panel two times. But to say the things that he did, I can honestly say that I, I, I hope that I did some good for these women, these mothers, and for myself, no matter what, doesn't matter how nice people are or how people can get out of prison, I'm not too sure that this guy should be forgiven. I don't think that he should be out right now. I think he should be back behind bars. He strangled his sister. He's only been out for a month and he's up for a strangulation charge. We promoted his channel Inbred, the night before we found out everything. I think that why you, you have- Why you got to call her an inbred for? I'm, I'm curious though, how many times did you have him on your panel? Um, He said he was coming up once. He popped out of nowhere and I was like, yo, where you at? And he said, I'm coming up in two hours. And then he bounced. He, he never came. The next day he came on and I knowingly was nice and let him come on. The later that uh, night, later that after, night, was it after, me, was it after, after No, after we found out that he was a pedophile, he never came back again. Well, what, I'm, what, I'm, what, what, what I'm curious though is what, what do you feel about that lady lover telling you to own up to be a uh, own up to I wasn't there did. for that. I wasn't there. I was in the bathroom. I missed the. Are you thing. gonna are are you gonna call her out for that though for the stuff she said? I wasn't there was pretty, for it, but I heard about it. That, that was pretty fucked up. Like, how are you gonna own up to a pedo? Like, really? I, I I I wouldn't own up to a pedo. I wasn't. I I was not present when that even happened. I found out later when you newstubers live talked about. It. I was like, shit, what? I didn't even know that that happened. Do you know how many times I get up and leave? Anyway, it was nice talking to you full on drama. Thank you for coming up and explaining the pedophile situation. Did you under did you understand it? Did you get it what I was saying? Or um I mean I listened, yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is I really don't want those videos up. I mean, I had to put a warning in the title. I didn't know what to, that's the first time I ever put a warning on a title. Then and, take uh, them down if they bother you. No, I can't do that because the chicken wings over here. <laughs> Hot dogs and bologna. Oh, Fucking man. people want to say, well, this is what happened. This is, this, and they did this. No, go back and listen for yourself and you'll hear how it was reacted how somebody asked and the creep factor is how he says it that was the creep factor that was it and and I, i'm sorry but i i you can disagree with me you anyone can disagree with me that's your choice but i'm glad he came on i really am because you want to know something i really do believe that there's a lot of people around here that got a lot of criminal background and a lot of shit that we don't know about and we will never know about it. And many people confront us and they try to act like they're our friends. Right? And, and that's not okay with me. Now we got to know how nice these guys can come in. Kat. And I guess I T missed it. Who, Tiffany? Yeah, she just what? sent me a text message. It says, Mandy, and it's nice. It's not bad. She wrote, Mandy Lynn didn't just put up that to notify people. She used that video to alert everyone that we were defending him. But that's not true. We weren't defending him. No, no one normal, especially a mother or is going to, a mother or a female is going to defend him. The only one that's going to defend a pedophile is a defense attorney and probably another pedophile or someone that's afraid of a pedophile. If you really think about it, but no one's going to just defend him. I think a lot of us were just completely in shock. When he brought up the, I just fingered her and I found out she was 18, never talked to her again. Like we were like, Whoa, 
TMI, TMI. It was all. But guess what? People are still talking about it, and that's what I care about. Molly wasn't disrespecting the chat. She called your name BTS, and I asked her not to say that. Oh, my that. God. BTS, when are you going to get over it? Come up here, I, BTS.